Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'd like to share with you some VCP pattern stock examples. In one of my previous video about VCP pattern by Mark Minivini, I share with you the characteristics and the things to look out for in a VCP pattern. Even though I shared with you some examples in that video, that video was a bit more towards the theory side of things. So in today's video, I'd like to share with you the more practical side of things by showing you the VCB pattern chart examples. Let me do a quick recap of the VCB pattern. The VCB pattern is Mark Minivini's trading strategy and it helps us identify entry points at the point of least resistance. So the VCB pattern helps us identify an entry point where the risk to reward is favorable, which means that the upside potential is greater than the downside risk. And in a VCB pattern, there typically are two to six price contraction accompanied by reduction in volume at particular points. Ideally, on our price charts, we want to see both price and volume contracting from the left side of the chart to the right side of the chart. And that summarizes what a VCP pattern is. A quick disclaimer is that this VCP pattern provides us a higher probability of success, not guaranteed success. What this means is that the VCP pattern will help us identify entry points with a favorable risk to reward ratio and allow us to trade in the line of least resistance. However, this does not mean that the VCP pattern is foolproof. There will definitely be times where the VCP pattern does not work out, but the probability of that happening is low. But with that said, a lower probability means that prices still can go against us. And that is why even though the VCB pattern gives us a higher probability of success, we still want to minimize our downside with proper risk management, such as setting stop losses. I have a video over here talking about stop losses and how to set stop loss in the stock market. Okay, now that we did a quick recap of the VCB pattern and I've shared with you a quick disclaimer, let's take a look at the VCB pattern stock examples. This is a price chart for Tesla. Over on this price chart, we see a VCB pattern forming. This was the first price contraction, the second price contraction, and the third price contraction over here. Accompanying this price contraction, we also see a contraction in volume over here. So there was a decrease in volume from the left side of the chart to the right side of the chart. And this area over here is what we call the pivot point. The pivot point is where we want to enter our buy position in the stock. Over at this pivot point, prices were very tight and volume was also abnormally low at this area. So that was an ideal place to enter our long position in the stock. And you can see that after the pivot point, Tesla stock took off. In around two months, Tesla stock price doubled and made a 100% gain. That's the first stock example of a VCP pattern. The second example we'll be taking a look at is Asbury Automotive Group. And for this stock, you also display the VCP pattern. This was the first price contraction, followed by the second price contraction, and then the third price contraction. This area over here was the pivot point. Prices tightened up over here and volume was also below average. After prices tightened up over here in this mini range, when prices finally broke out, the stock also moved up rapidly. In five trading sessions, ABG recorded a gain of around 10 to 15%. The third VCB pattern stock example that we'll be taking a look at is the NASDAQ. Its sticker symbol is the QQQ. And for the QQQ, we also see the VCB pattern forming in late 2020. This was the first price contraction. This was the second. And then over here, we had the pivot point. And along with this price contraction, there was also a contraction in volume. Then when prices tighten up over here, this is where we ideally want to enter buy position. And you see that if you have entered your position at this pivot point over here, you would have generated more than 10% returns in just about a month. And that is what the VCB pattern does for us in the stock market. It helps us identify entry points in the stock market where the risk to reward ratio is favorable, where the upside potential is greater than the downside risk. The next example is Apple. Apple also displayed the VCB pattern late in 2020. So this was the first price contraction. This was the second, and this was the third price contraction. And over at this area over here, this was the pivot point. And again, along with the price contraction, we also see a similar contraction in volume at this point over here. After the contraction of both prices and volume, prices tend to tighten up a bit. And we see the tightening of prices over at this point over here. After the VCP pattern form, prices took off from there. And even though we see a slight retracement over here, prices still managed to rebound up. Those are some examples of the VCP pattern. So if you identify the VCP pattern correctly on your price charts, you will gain a high probability of success in the stock market. However, do remember that the VCP pattern do not work all the time. So in the event that it does not work, you want to have proper risk management in place. And don't forget, if you have liked and learned something from this video, smash that like button because it will really help the channel grow and allow me to produce more content such as this. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because each week I release one new video about investing, trading and the stock market. I'll see you in those other videos to your financial success.